channeling my inner Betty Boop, Betty Bop, Betty Wop, I don't know. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Virgo, the Virgin, the sign of the Virgo, the Zodiac, um, which holds a very special place in my heart because I'm a Virgo. I actually have like a lot of Virgo energy in my birth chart, but um, I'm also gonna be just doing my makeup and I kind of went with earthy vibes. I'll just jump into it. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see it. I'm just gonna use this brush from Morphe and it doesn't have a name on it. It's just a fluffy brush. And then I'm just gonna use a setting brush from Real Techniques and the Fit Me Powder Set and Smooth in the shade 240. The next thing I did is went into this James Charles palette and my angled brush. And I went into the shade Benny and you can use any shade for this, but I basically lined the part of my eye just to kind of get the shape going just like that i went into the fit me powder in the shade 360 started getting color in the crease and then i used this small brush and i believe it's from coastal scents it's flat went into the shade above benny which is called t and it's like a khaki brown and i just went ahead and added that dark brown color along the lash line kind of like that i just kind of sweeped it across i'm just going to use that brush that i first dipped into the first brown powder nothing on it though and then i'm going to go into my my nose contour brush hula benefit bronzer and i'm going to use this to just really buff everything out i have my sun in virgo my mercury in virgo and my rising in virgo my first house is virgo so that's the energy i give off when you first meet me that's the way i think that's the way i am so it's a lot <laughs> but i do think that i'm very different than your stereotypical one whatever but i do i'm gonna go a little bit deeper and use a little bit of the shade benny with this little brush right here so virgos are born from august 23rd to september 22nd they are the symbol of the virgin. They are ruled by Mercury. Gemini is also ruled by Mercury. I believe Gemini is the masculine, more masculine side, and then Virgo is the more feminine side, but both signs are very intelligent, very active minds. Mercury is the planet of technology and communication, so a lot of Virgos are good writers, good um, at just communicating with people, good talkers. Virgos are known for being super shy, but if they don't fall in that category, they're usually very outgoing. And even if they do fall into that category, they do like a good conversation. So once you get to know them, you really can talk to them about a whole lot of stuff. Like I said, their symbol is the Virgin. So they're known to be like what I think of when I think of that symbol being representing a person or a sign or whatever i think of it more as like a pure person and i'm not trying to say that to make myself sound good or whatever but that's what i think it was more meant it's more of the maiden but they're just like the nurturing type of person they want to help others they're very in tune with nature and stuff like that and animals and stuff i think it's really kind of has this weird misconception just by the symbol and just by the way that people call them shy and stuck up like that's just became the whole stereotype for them and i really don't think it's fair because it's just not not like the case for everyone um i grew up in a house full of virgos i was taught to be a good nice person non-judgmental so i don't know but with saying that they can be very very hard on themselves as well so i think that can manifest into projecting this criticism on others that's just my thoughts. So I am jumping around in a few palettes, but I'm just repeating what I did. I really don't think you need to do all of this, but I'm just gonna repeat what I did. So I went in with a little bit more of a flat, blendable brush, and I went into the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. And I used the shade Sour, which is this green shade right there, and I'm just tapping that all into this lid area. Virgos are earth signs, just like Taurus and Capricorn. So they can relate with Taurus and Capricorn with their want for security. They would, they do care about financial materialistic things. I would say Capricorns the most, most do, but um, they all have that in them and they're very hardworking. I will say when they work, they're hardworking. They do what they gotta do. They work a shitty job if they have to show up, you know, they sh keep showing up. <laughs> So yeah, I went ahead and added the green, which I don't think the matte green is very necessary because I'm gonna go in with a bright green shimmer color. So I'm gonna go into the Zulu palette by Juvia's Palace. 
which is this really pretty colorful eyeshadow palette it has some warm tones some blues and greens and a little bit of purple a little bit of a rose gold color i'm gonna go in with this ben nye fb3 brush i'm going into that shimmery lime green color and i'm gonna first start by just kind of tapping it in here then we're doing a little bit more unnecessary stuff and i'm just gonna use the same brush and i'm going into this emerald obsessions palette and i'm gonna literally <laughs> dip into all these like teal shades which this is just kind of ridiculous and i'm gonna go ahead and tap that and blend that into the brighter green and into the crease just a little bit just kind of creating more dimension and then a little bit of fit me powder just carefully adding that into the crease deepening it deepening it up a little bit more okay so i went ahead and used my angled liner brush and i used the shade benny and a little bit of the shade spooky which is the black shade and i did a somewhat of a little bit of a thick line a little bit of a wing just kind of followed the whole eye shape i mean i could do a little bit more there we go that's better and i'm using ozzy rado lashes in the style bombshell and these are only about $15 and you can use the code SYDNEYS10, S-Y-D-N-E-Y-S-1-0 and get 10% off your purchase. They also have a lot of sales going on, so sometimes they're like half off and then you can get another 10% off. So if you like dramatic lashes, I would really recommend these. They're faux mink and I've had these for months. I don't wear them every day, but like they're very reusable if you treat them with care and they really look good with any type of look, whether it's neutral, nothing, or color. So yes, I really like these lashes. They're kind of more of a straight lash than most of my flared out lashes that I like and I actually really like it. Like you can really see the colors and then like some of the detail that you did through these lashes even though they are so long and dramatic. So yeah, big shout out to these lashes. Virgos are also mutable signs so they are like Geminis, Sagittariuses, and Pisces where they are kind of the type of people who are very adaptable, aren't very routine. They can be leaders and followers at the same time. They're a little sporadic, I guess. Virgo is also the ruler of the sixth house and that rules routine, health, and work. Everybody's gonna have um, different placements in their sixth house. You might have a planet that's gonna affect it in a certain way. You might have just your sign that rules that. I also actually have Aquarius ruling that. So that makes it very unpredictable, very unroutine, sporadic. I don't do diets. I don't do workout routines. I wake up every day and it's a brand new day and I don't know what's gonna happen. That's the type of person I am. And it's weird because when you go back to this Virgo ruling the first house, I wanna come off like I have routine. I wanna come off like I take care of myself to the best degree, all that kind of stuff, but I'm really a mess that's a whole other thing the houses are a whole other thing i feel like i did a quick overview of them when i did the eye makeup but i'm just i might be a little repetitive with like describing them but i just kind of want to go deeper into it so yes they are known to be very like shy and quiet not really the center of attention um they don't really like that they aren't necessarily caught up in themselves but they aren't necessarily caught up in others they can be very lonely or feel like outcasts very misunderstood I find that Virgos are a very, very misunderstood sign. You know, maybe it's just me feeling like I'm misunderstood. <laughs> um, unless you really get to know them, you think that they're like boring, stuck up, and that's really not the case. They're really loving and caring, but they're so hard on themselves. And like I said, I think sometimes that manifests into people thinking that they're critical towards others or they do come off critical towards others. That is something to work on. Virgos are really, really loyal people, loyal friends, and with saying that, they're not the type to make so many friends and have all these friends. Like, they're the person who has a few, but they're the few that actually stick with them for life. They they can make a relationship last. Um, it just has to have a good, solid foundation. I'm very much an introvert, and I don't think that all Virgos are. I've met some Virgos that don't act like me at all. It really just depends, but... I do think that a lot of them can be introverts or at least, have, you know, be pretty independent. I think with Mercury ruling them, they are so kind of anxiety ridden. My mind is never just on chill, so I'm always on the go. Even when I'm at home, I'm doing something, and if I'm not doing something at home, I'm probably miserable <laughs> and trying to leave the house. I don't know why. I don't like to sit still. It's hard to kind of turn that button off, like the thinking button off. So it, it's kind of um, a struggle, to be honest. I would say that Virgos are pretty 
creative, but they just don't give that, they don't credit themselves for it. Some Virgos are the mathematician or the teacher type, but also they're artists and um, they have a big eye for like perfection and balance. So they can be really good at like designing. Um, since I'm a Virgo, I will say, yes, I do fall into that stereotype of like being a little bit of a neat freak. I keep everything in my space clean. I color code my closet. I like, leave the house with enough time to get places so I don't have to worry about being late, like whatever, that kind of stuff. I like my life to be in harmony and that's when I feel like when I'm the happiest. When I don't, when I feel like my life's a mess or when my space is a mess, I feel like a mess. Everything is wrong and I can't relax or focus until I get things under control. Kind of annoying, kind of a good thing though. Like I literally clean things as I go so I never have a big mess to clean up. Some people, it probably drives them crazy. It's just like my peace. And I will say that my parents are the same way. My dad like likes to hang out in the garage and like he keeps that clean. He really likes his vehicles. So he keeps those spotless. I wish he kept mine. I don't keep my car spotless. They don't like to be an inconvenience to other people. They don't like to be a disappointment or a burden. And that's almost a problem, you know? They tend not to really go to others when they have problems. They try to figure things out on themselves. They don't, like I said, they don't want to inconvenience people. So they like, like I sometimes suffer by myself without realizing I don't have to, you know? A lot of them are very intuitive to a fault, you know? Like to a point where they don't even realize it for most of their life, possibly. Oh honey, oh honey, you remind me why I love you every time. So this is the look, I hope you like it. Let's finish the 50 home. They can be a little uptight, a little shy. That's something that they're extremely known for, but if you really know Virgos, you know that they're really just kind of want to relax. They're kind of, they're pretty goofy once you get to know them. I guess that's all I've really got to say about them. I've been chatting about them for some time now. So, some well-known people that are Virgos. We've got Michael Jackson. We've got Zendaya. She was in recently in a show called Euphoria, which if the video turned out well, there will be a Euphoria video up this week. And the girl who played Cassie is also a Virgo, and her name is Sydney Sweeney. And I just wanted to throw her in there because one, she's a Virgo. Two, her name's Sydney. Three, she has an SS name like me. We've also got Selma Hayek, Mother Teresa, Bill Murray, Wiz Khalifa, one of my favorite rappers, Gloria Estefan, Idris Elba, another big YouTuber that's a Virgo is Jenna Marbles and she's my Virgo queen. I love that she talks about being a Virgo because she doesn't come off like an uptight person. She comes off really goofy and like caring and she loves her dogs. She like once she does something, she does it like 100%, whether it's doing acrylic toes or whatever it may be. So I love her for that. Anyways, we've got Tim Burton, Ludacris, Cameron Diaz, Adam Sandler, Beyonce. Can't forget Beyonce. She's Virgo, duh. Sophia Loren, and she is a old Hollywood actress and she's probably one of the most beautiful people ever. Amy Winehouse, Kobe Bryant, Melissa McCarthy, Kiki Palmer, Lily Reinhart, which is from Riverdale. Nas, Nick Jonas, Jimmy Fallon, and I, I'm pretty sure he has an Aries moon as well as me, and I just find that interesting. He has my dream job. Stephen King, Nicole Richie, Rupert Grint, Jada Pinkett Smith, Shania Twain, Blake Lively, Blair Underwood, and Billy Ray Cyrus. And uh, we got Dr. Phil, we got Gene Simmons, Lil Yachty, Dave Chappelle, Rachel Ray, Kel Mitchell, Paul Walker, Jack Black, Keanu Reeves, Amy Poehler, Pink, Jennifer Hudson, and Taraji P. Henson. So, there's so many more Virgos. I found so many. So that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do give it a thumbs up and let me know if you're a Virgo or if you know any Virgos besides me. <laughs> and um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. It would be much appreciated. Um, consider, it, consider it a little birthday gift. I don't know, um, but it would be very appreciated. And other than that, we'll just go ahead and end the video here. I'm sending you all the love and all of the good vibes. And I hope you have a good day. And I'll catch you in my next video real, real soon. Bye.